I want to make this quick little video talking about cryptocurrency safety because since last week obviously we had a big hype cycle where I don't know, a couple billion dollars into the market in the last uh, say 72 hours we had a big uh, correction cycle but the main thing that I want to talk about and I'm going to make this video as short as possible is this the main thing is security of your cryptocurrency and your tokens let's first talk about cryptocurrency and token those two are different things you have cryptocurrency, which is a main utility in a blockchain protocol, such as say Neem or Ethereum or Bitcoin. And then you have tokens, which are built on top of blockchain, such as Ethereum. Okay, so depending on the amount you have, and I'm gonna be talking about different options. I know I had another video about wallets, which you can find below this video. But the main thing that I wanna talk about is keeping your crypto and tokens offline. For example, with a cold storage hardware wallet like this. Um, Depending on the exact amount that you have, this is the advice I give people. So just like anything in life, you don't want to be walking around with a couple of thousand dollars in your pocket. So my, my advice to anybody that has any high amounts of cryptocurrency, and high amounts is justifiable in your own mind. Each person has their own set level of what they consider high or having a lot of value in crypto and tokens uh, of their own in their portfolio. So let's, let's just say you have a high amount that you want to keep safely. There are a couple of different methods for, for different currencies or cryptocurrency, a couple of different methods for tokens. Uh, unfortunately, no hard wallet right now can handle everything, all tokens and all cryptos yet. They're all working on it. And there's many different uh, hard wallets and cold wallets working on this process, which is fantastic. For example, right now, one of my favorite things to use, and I use it, for example, uh, Zcash, Dash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Monero, Ripple, uh, all these different other cryptos and tokens as well, they're slowly building on. I like using the Ledger. Now, the Ledger is great for a couple of reasons. A, they just got backed with $10 million, so I know they're gonna be lasting for a while. They've been working extremely hard for the last couple of years, building up their brand, building up their technology, so they didn't come here from yesterday. And above all, what I really love about the Ledger is their simplicity. See, when you open up the box, it's pretty straightforward. It comes with like this simple paper, plug, download the app, put your 24 word seed. So if in case you lose the ledger or in case it gets demagnetized or in case it gets broken, you have your combination of 24 words from one to 24, which you can go online and back up your ledger from anywhere around the world. So regardless of if you have this, as long as you have your 24 seed phrase word, you can back up your cryptos and tokens. Now, the downside with say using the ledger is the fact that they don't support everything. For example, some tokens such as Saya, uh, for example, Golem right now, they don't support that. So you don't, like I mentioned before, you don't have the optionality of utilizing all your tokens or cryptos on this yet. You know, I don't want to keep this video biased and just talk about the ledger. I've also played around with the Trezor uh, hard wallet, which I think it's great. I think they might be ahead of the ledger in regards to accepting all ECR20 tokens from Ethereum. I'm not 100% on that, but that's what I heard. So that's pretty cool where you can actually accept all different tokens. And I'll also give you some couple of advices for keeping your cryptocurrency safe. And some of this is convoluted for some, but it's actually quite easy. And you can just Google uh, on Google and find the best guide for that. But paper wallets, many of these cryptos and many of these tokens do offer paper wallet storage where you can actually store your private keys uh, on a piece of paper that you can print online to offline, which is fantastic. So for example, uh, any, any for I'll say most cryptos, I'm not going to name them, you can just Google them. Um, but most cryptos and some tokens do offer this uh, service, which honestly is almost as good as this because pretty much you have your private keys on the paper uh, and you can also remember it. there's a seed phrase as well. Uh, but you know, just keep in mind, this is why I want to keep this video short. Security of cryptocurrency is really important because a, you know, if you keep on using the same Bitcoin or Ethereum wallet online, it's quite easy for people to track you. I'm not going to get into details how, but they can. Uh, B, from security, most people keep a lot of money, uh, whether it's on exchange or even on their computer, that's easily hackable. Your computer is easily hackable. Your, uh, your exchanges, whether it's, uh, I don't know, whether, whether it's Kraken, whether it's Bitfinex, or whether it's who knows, there's so many out there. You know, it has weak spots and no centralized uh, database like that is unhackable. Of course it's hackable. So I always say have your risk portfolio. Like anything in life, you want to distribute different assets on different places. I don't keep all my crypto on this. I keep very small amount. I have a couple of these. But distribute my tokens and cryptos on different ledgers, on different paper wallets, on different software wallets, on my desktop. And you know, that's in little small amounts I like to play on a day-to-day -day basis, I put it on my hot wallet, all mine, okay? So just keep that in mind. 
the security of your crypto is really important because too many people, especially now in the last week with this huge gold rush of crypto and token, too many people are going to exchanges, buying thousands of dollars worth of crypto and keeping on the exchange. And you know, no one has those guys. They didn't read about Mt. Gox and they don't understand the security issues. And you know, they could be the next Mt. Gox, but you know, they keep all these uh, valuable assets on the exchanges or on these wallets. And then one day they wake up and their stuff has gone over or worse. This has happened to a lot of people or worse. Get this. They just lose uh, their private keys or they lose their backup phrase or even worse, they don't back it up at all. Actually, I know a lot of people who've downloaded wallets and haven't followed the instructions and they haven't backed it up. And I remember even like two years ago when I was first getting into this, some wallets were so convoluted, setting address here, doing this. I've lost thousands of dollars worth of crypto because just the instructions alone, it just wasn't good. It wasn't Apple friendly, how I like to put it. Uh, but yeah, that summarizes. I really want to keep this video short. Uh, do yourself a favor, get any hardware wallet. The one I like to use, I'm not biased towards it, but I do like using is Ledger Nano. There's a link below this video. And oh, I forgot to mention, my good buddy Johnny sent me this over from Simple Programmer. Uh, if you want to learn about programming, whether it's JavaScript or anything else, check out his YouTube channel. John, thanks for this shirt, man. It's awesome. I'll leave a link below this video. Like always, guys, if you have any questions for me, leave a comment below this video. And, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.